Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, June 15th. Um, so today I wanted to continue filming working on the True Love Turtleneck Sweater that I'm a test knitter for. Uh, for Lady J Crochet on Instagram. And this is where I have this is what I have so far done. So I figured I would do a quick measurement. Um, this is my tape measure that I bought from... I think I bought it from Hobby Lobby for like $2. But uh, yeah, let's do inches. So here, I'm going to go all the way up to there. Oh, let's see right here. Well, I've completed about 11 inches so far, which is pretty good. Um, I started working on, I bought my yarn on Tuesday because I had a, if you've been following me, I had purchased the uh, separate yarn that I thought I was going to use originally, but it was just too thin, so it didn't really work out for me. Um, so I ended up having to repurchase yarn which is the one that I'm working on right now, and I bought it at Michael's. They had it for $2 a skein. They were running a sale, so I bought what I needed. And um, so I started actually working on it on Wednesday. So 11 inches in, what, three days? Call it three days? Uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all put my yarn there there we go I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far tomorrow is Father's Day and I um, if any dads are watching um, or any anything like that happy Father's Day to you guys I don't film on Sundays so happy early Father's Day I am continuing to work on this pattern I have a a little booklet right here that um Maybe I'll move this down so it doesn't focus on that. There we go. That I have next to me where I basically mark, or I'm checking off each round that I'm going in. Since I am also a beginner knitter and this is my first time doing a test, being a tester for, um, for somebody, I want to make sure that I'm falling within the right, um, the right rounds and following the instructions properly. So I do have that. If you guys have any tips for beginner knitters on not only how to knit more effectively, but have uh, any suggestions on beginner friendly patterns for garments, that would be great. Um, I have it down where I can do the basic stitches of um, knit and purl. I'm comfortable with them. I can do a basic beanie. I can do a that's basically knit and purl with the brim and then knit all the way up and I do the I think it's called a slip stitch where I close it off um, I don't like working with double pointed needles because they always tend to slip out no matter what I do even if I buy the little bumpers to keep them from from sliding off when I'm not using one they just double pointed needles are not my friends so I do everything um, in circular needles um, but yeah, if you have any, any pattern suggestions that are beginner friendly in the garment section, um, let me know. It'd be great to know, um, what is out there that I can practice my knitting on. This is a sweater that I will be wearing. So once I am done, um, making it, I will be posting a photo of it on my Instagram page and you guys can see it there. Um. My Instagram is the same as the YouTube channel handle, so it's Modern Stitches Co. You guys can find me there. I do post um, progress photos of all the projects that I work on, so you can find my two cross stitch patterns, which are the Epic Pokemon Cross Stitch Generation One and the Cinderella Dreams Disney pattern that I'm working on by Thomas Kincaid, and then of course this piece which is the True Love Turtleneck Sweater. And uh, yeah, you can find the progress photos there. I try to post almost every day, or I post basically every time I make progress on any of those three projects. 
So yeah. I also have highlights, uh, highlight section for the uh, two cross stitch patterns with progress stamps on those. I don't know if I should do one for this piece. Haven't decided yet. But yeah, I am excited to have this piece completed and seeing how it looks being my first uh, garment that I make. <laughs> Actually, I'm excited for that. But yeah, I'm really thankful to be to have been one of the testers that were chosen to work on this um, and I hope I, I make the pattern justice that's the goal Let's see here. I have tried to knit a pair of socks before um, and I think I tried it doing the I think it's called the magic loop where you have your two needles kind of like this and then you, you start it this way um, with the long needles and I couldn't uh, for some reason I just couldn't grasp it that way um, I do have sock yarn that I had purchased last year during my honeymoon and I we went to um, Monterey, California, and there was a store there that we had happened to find by accident. Um, my husband and I love thrifting, so we were near a thrift shop. We're just going in there looking, seeing what they had. Um, and as we walked outside, I saw this little tiny shop, and it kind of looked like a residential home. And it was right in the corner, and it's called the Monarch Knitting Store. And it's the monarch like the butterfly. And we walked in there and I about died from how much yarn they had. They had indie dyers. They had, um, I think it's mostly all indie or like small batch dyeing, dye uh, skeins that they had. Um, but it was so beautiful inside that store. Of course, I had to contain myself. They have, um, the little shop is, it's really nice. And they have a section where they show off their finished pieces. And most of them were sweaters and shawls. But I mostly remember just the sweaters of, I think, um, testers that had submitted them or if they did it themselves. And they had them on a rack. So you can see, like, how the finished piece would look like when, with that specific yarn that was called for on that project and it was really cool seeing that um i've never knitted like i said any garments before so seeing that in person really inspired me to try to do something and that's when i started beanies and then this came to be where i was selected to be a tester for this um project that i'm working on so seeing that was really wonderful um what i do remember from that shop though was that they had a section where you can even purchase like notions they had a section where you can purchase knitting needles project bags books even patterns um, they had a section for uh, even baby specific or baby catered skeins of yarn so they can make rest assured that the yarn that you were using was um, safe or comfortable for a baby's skin they also had books that you can purchase that had patterns for uh, garments or shawls, um, socks. They had a whole wall and cubby section. Like as soon as you walked in, they had a whole section dedicated to um, sock yarn. And I figured, okay, I'll buy something. So I remember I purchased, and I might show you guys on Monday's video. There, I purchased this um, fun sock yarn, and I remember it was like neon yellow, neon pink, might have some neon green in it, and it was just a fun one. I don't remember the name, I have to get it out of my stash, but I'll show you guys on Monday. And um, it's really fun, and it was enough sock yarn to make two ankle socks from what I can remember. They had the section where it said, like, um, they had two bowls, so one bowl had a little sign that said um, each skein here can make 
a pair of ankle socks this skein can make a pair of um, cuff down socks like tube socks so I purchased the one for the uh, ankle socks I haven't made them yet because I don't know how to make socks <laughs> I would love to learn how to make socks using the not the magic loop sec, um, method but the regular method of the small needles small circulars um, so I think I just have to probably watch a few more tutorials I might have to actually visit a um, in my area they have knitting nights at a local library as well as a group that meets at a Panera um, I have to double check what days they meet and maybe just message them and see like do you guys do um, does anyone on your group know how to knit socks and will they be willing to teach me um, but yeah I have that and I also purchased this beautiful purple yarn it, and again it was also a sock yarn and I think with that one, I might make socks with those two once I learn how to do it. Um, but those were the two yarns that I purchased when I did, when we, went to, when we had our honeymoon last year. So I'm excited for those. I'll show you guys on Monday what those look like. And I also bought a project bag so you guys can see what the name looks like. They also have an Instagram account. I believe it's called the Monarch Knitting Store or Monarch Knitting. Um, but they are located in Monterey. And yeah, if you guys are ever in that area, go check them out. And I believe they have an online store as well. Well, I am going to leave you guys here. It isn't be a shorter video today, mainly because I want to continue working on this. And I'm actually going to mark off on my checklist right here this round. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So as of right now, from this right here, I have... 17 more rows and I'm done with this section of the pattern. I can't wait to show you guys what that's going to look like once I complete it. And I'm pretty sure you guys will see it with all these little stitch markers that I have. Or progress keepers. I always want to call them stitch markers. Um, maybe because I use stitch markers when I crochet. And this is the first time that I'm using... Um, what did I just call them? Progress? Stitch progress? I just forgot what I call them. They're not stitch markers. I forgot what they're called. Uh, oh, progress, progress trackers or something like that. Whatever they are. I'm so sorry. I just had like brain fog. So anyway, but yeah, you guys, uh, stitch markers? No. I keep calling them stitch markers. But anyway, you guys will see it based on the different tracking that I have. Progress keepers. That's what they're called. <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, you guys will see the different progress keepers here. Um, and yeah, and I think I'd let you guys know that these, blah, blah, blah. these specific progress keepers I purchased at Joann's. They're the Boy brand, B-O-Y-E. And they came in a little blue container. Um, and there's 25 of them. And they're the ones that snap. And they're plastic, so they're very flexible. And yeah. So thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and have a great Father's Day. And I will talk to you guys on Monday.